Now, the rise in violence raises the question. We've asked it. You've seen our special reports from earlier this year. We're asking, is Portland over? Well, our Lindsay Nadrich spoke with an Old Town Neighborhood Association member after that group met up earlier today. It's no secret there have been ongoing issues here in Old Town. We've seen garbage, vandalism, tents lining sidewalks, and now some pretty violent crimes and a recent rash of gun violence. New audio in a coin six shows the barrage of gunfire at a vigil for a man who was shot and killed inside Mingle Lounge in Old Town just hours earlier on August 22nd. Five people were hurt in the shootings. It's this kind of rise in gun violence that has Old Town Community Association Chair Jesse Burke feeling overwhelmed. And they are feasting on Portland's innocence. And that is really distressing to me because I'm at ground zero. Right? She says the state of her neighborhood got worse when funding for police and other public safety programs got cut. Where we are, and I know a lot of other neighborhoods too, it's like it's collapsing and unsafe in a way that Portland is, has not seen, I don't think, at least in my 20 years here. At the end of June, police say a woman staying at a hotel in Old Town was attacked by 44-year-old Tammy Marie Eimholt while walking down the street. Court documents say the woman tried to avoid Eimholt, who was yelling at her, but that Eimholt chased her, attacked her, and stabbed her with a nail file. Then just last week, two women and a six-year-old boy visiting from Tacoma were attacked by a woman armed with a machete and axe while waiting in line for pizza. Burke says she meets with police weekly about what's going on in her neighborhood and says it's time for the community to fight for the city. People need to stand up and unite behind like a, hey, yeah, we really do want things to be, we do want public safety. We do want our downtowns to be somewhere that we go visit. On the neighborhood meeting today, again, a Portland police officer talked about how they just don't have the resources to respond to calls the way they want to. In Old Town, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Point Six News.